Risk of Rain 2. What is it? Well, more importantly, we all know that playing as Goku is amazing. But what's even more amazing is becoming an unstoppable force of nature. Now, instead of being like this, you could become a level 100 mob boss. Let's take a look at what Goku has to offer. His passive ability allows him to get Zenkai boost when either coming back from dying in a true Dragon Ball Z fashion, or by surviving at under 20% health for 30 seconds. Now, this cannot be achieved by using a Shrine of Blood, it just will not work. Let's go over his abilities now. We have the Melee Strike, which is just a barrage of up to 3 punches, the Key Blast, 2 consecutive energy shots, Instant Transmission, it allows you to teleport to any location you can see on the map. Now we have the Beam and the V-Skill. But he even has some alternate abilities like Key Charging, Spirit Bomb, and Meteor Crash. Which for this run, we are going to want the Key Charge and the Spirit Bomb. Now let's get to the part that you're actually interested in, the transformations. Going through your standard transformations of Dragon Ball Super to even some fan favorites, or even made up transformations. Now, each transformation has a unique skill that you're able to do by pressing V. This is the V skill. And let's just go ahead and show off a couple of those V skills here, and then I'll show off the rest of the transformations as well. Now, we're going to take special notice to Kaioken, because once a form reaches level 5, you're actually able to use it in tandem with the form. Now, doing this you have to be careful, because if you push it too far, as indicated by the Goku on the left of the screen, you will actually be stunned depending on which form you're in and how high of a level of Kaioken you're using. The higher the level, and the stronger the form, the longer the stun. An important thing to note before we actually get into the run is that there are a few advanced techniques that we are going to use for this in order to become powerful. In order to use Kaioken without the initial startup animation, you are able to cancel it by overlaying it with another animation, say by holding punch or by holding key blast. As long as you activate it while you're doing something, including flying, you won't be stunned. Now, for Spirit Bomb, it initially costs 200 key to cast. However, as long as you are moving, it will not drain key from you and you are able to regenerate, including using Kaioken to increase your key regeneration stat. As we start our run, we are actually going to prioritize a select few items to get us up and running to prepare us for later in the run. We are going to start off with the white item, the backup mag, to give us additional key to fuel our spirit bomb. Trust me, we are going to need it. Then as soon as we find a green item, we are going to want a bandolier to give us the opportunity to gain back key as we kill. Now. Make sure you are able to find the Newt's Altar before continuing towards the teleporter. Now, as we make our way back, you should wait until you're about level 5 before starting the teleporter, just to make sure you have access to Kaioken, and you'll be close to naturally being able to use Spirit Bomb. Additionally, as soon as you find an orange item, Go ahead and get the Sensu Bean. 
Following this, get the Will-O-Wisp to fuel our Spirit Bomb destruction even more. Next, as we head into the Newt's room, we are going to want some Gesture of the Drown and Training Weights before we make our way down to our Training Room. Now, it is important to make sure not to grab any Lunar Equipment when trying to grab a Gesture of the Drowned or a Training Weight. Now, the reason we're grabbing these is the Training Weights make you temporarily lose 30% of your total damage, attack speed, and movement speed. But once you've trained them, you get an additional 45% over time, meaning you get a 15% boost in stats. They also increase your form mastery gain by 15%, which means the more of these you have trained, the more forms you'll unlock in a shorter amount of time. Now, the reason we have the Sensu Bean and the Gesture of the Drowned is so we are able to constantly regenerate full health and key, allowing us to keep pumping that into the spirit bomb, allowing us to nuke pretty much everything. Now, as we enter the training room, we are going to focus on one, increasing our forms and training up those weights, and two, collecting as many of the necessary items for this build as we can. And the only way to increase our form and train up our weight is by killing and murdering every creature that we come across, or by existing, but that's not as interesting as murdering everything in this area. So, we're just going to run down the list. We're going to need a Bungus, a Topaz Brooch, a Crowbar, Tougher Times, Gasoline, both Kajaro and Runald's Bands, Berserker Pauldron, Wax Quail, Will of the Wisp, 10 Crit Glasses, Personal Shield Generator, a bunch of Fuel Cells, Infusion, Aegis, and if you find a yellow item, a Titanic Neural. Basically, all these items are going to combine for maximum damage on hit, not getting hurt, healing as much as possible, going berserk when you get a bunch of kills to fuel your spirit bomb madness, and getting those sensu bean cooldowns as low as they possibly can so we can absolutely crank out giant spirit bombs. Now, once you've gotten basically two runs worth of items, let's say, and you're feeling pretty confident you've unlocked all of your forms, you are ready to fight Mithrix. It's not that difficult, and with our power level, he does not stand a chance. So, once you're ready, go ahead and be ready to fight Mithrix, and as soon as you show up, you can actually fly to the top and fight Mithrix directly, which is a little dishonorable, or you can do all the challenges. It doesn't matter to me, whatever you prefer. Now, once you're finally at Mithrix, you can start off using your basic forms and work your way up, or you can go to maximum power right off the start. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully this will set you up to being even more powerful in all of your runs. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments if this strategy helped you, or if it didn't, please let me know what worked for you. I would love to know how to become even more powerful. Either way, please feel free to stick around for the rest of the video. I'm going to fight Mithrix using all the forms, and destroy him, because that's what he deserves. Either way, bye guys.